What's going on guys? My name is Wally and today we're back with a new YouTube tutorial where I'll be showing you how I'm able to tether from my camera to my iPad as this is one of the most asked questions like how am I able to transfer my images to my iPad when I'm shooting? I'll be showing you step by step on how to do this. Without no delay, let's get into it. Tethering is basically a way of linking your camera to your device such as your iPhone, iPad or your computer and in today's video I'll be showing you how to do this wirelessly. I'll also be stating some of the reason why I enjoy and why I will also recommend this method to anyone out there. Number one would be instant feedback. I get instant feedback when I'm shooting my client and I'm able to preview, check out my light settings, how the light is falling on my uh, subject, the choice of background, is it okay, is it not okay, if there's anything I need to, you know, make adjustments on or change, I can easily do that because I'm able to see my images. Um, right in front of me and not through the small LCD. I'm able to see it on a bigger screen. And also my client is able to have um, a preview and also have an idea of what the image is looking like or what the end product is gonna look like. And number two would be the flexibility. It is flexible for me in such a way that I'm able to explore different camera angles compared to the coded uh, method where there is a cord connected to your camera, plugged to your laptop. And for me, in that case, I think it is always um, too risky because if you're not careful, you can, you know, run into your cord or someone on set can step on the cord and that way it can, you know, cause damage to either your laptop or your computer. And, but for this method, having no cord connected to my camera gives me room for flexibility. I can, you know, go down, try low angles, you know, top view and all of that without no restriction. And number three would be the mobility. It is very mobile. It is very easy for me to pack my iPad or just go out with my phone or maybe my small iPad compared to where I have to, you know, think of carrying a big screen or a laptop with me when I'm, you know, shooting outdoor. The last thing would be, which is very important, is that this is at no cost compared to other, you know, method where you have to pay for the app or pay for a device before you can, you know, tether wirelessly. But this method is actually free. But the sad news is that this is only for Canon users. If you are a Nikon or Sony user, I'm sorry, this is not applicable to you. But however, you can still learn one or two things. Just have like a general knowledge on how these things work. And yeah, so that's it. Now let's move on to the settings. So here are the things we need for this tethering method. Number one, we need a Canon Wi-Fi enabled camera. Number two, we need a device such as your iPad, your iPhone, or your Android phone. And number three, we need an app called Canon Camera Connect. Now we want to go to App Store to download the app called Canon Camera Connect. So head to your App Store or Play Store if you're using an Android phone, then search for Canon Camera Connect. You'll see it right there and click on the download button. So once this is done, we want to open the software. Oh, sorry. We want to open the app, app or software. Yeah, I think they're both the same. So now we click on agree. Let's agree to the license agreement. Allow, basically just say yes or allow to everything. So you can just do like a quick tour, you know, just have an idea of what this app can do for you and aside that then we click on let's get started so on the left hand side of the screen we're going to register our camera the canon eos r5 so i'm going to click on look for canon eos r5 right here 
then we have two options bluetooth or wi-fi so we're using the wi-fi option then click on next and most importantly you want to make sure that your location um, information is turned on in your um, settings if it's not on um, if it's not on make sure that it's turned on before you proceed and click on next and the the app is going to ask you to allow the the app to use your location click on allow while using app camera connect would like to find and connect to devices on your local network click on ok so after that is done we're going to stop right here and the next thing would be to um, do some wi-fi settings on our um, camera so you want to turn on your camera and go to the wi-fi settings and click on wi-fi and bluetooth connection and click on connect to smartphone change wi-fi to enable of course okay then add a device to connect to so right here you get to choose if you're using android or ios device ipad or iphone you click on ios and if you're using an android phone you click on android so we're going to click on ios so you click on ok then we have two options here as well we're going to use the connect via wi-fi and it's going to search now you see it says connect device to camera using network settings below and then start canon app software and you can see the network name usr bf blah 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 but we can always change this let's go back to change this name to something more um more easy and easy to find so we go back to this place where it says nickname so we're going to change this name from this to maybe wale visuals Oops, I don't know how to spell my name. Sorry. Wale Visuals. All right, so we click on OK and OK. And now we go back to the Wi Fi and Bluetooth connection. Connect to smartphone, add a device, click on iOS if you're using iPad or iPhone. And if you're using Android, click on Android, then click OK connect via wi-fi okay and searching and so we have wally visuals 280 canon 0a and a password on that there is what we're going to use to connect this camera to the canon app so now let's go back to the ipad so we're going to the wi-fi settings so before we do anything here there are three things i want us to take note number one which is the auto lock and number two would be the um, low power mode and number three the auto connect on the wi-fi settings so first of all we want to disable auto lock so that when we are shooting and the um when we're connected to the um camera we don't want a situation whereby the ipad gets locked because that way is going to disconnect that connection between your um, ipad and the camera so we don't want that so i always set my auto lock to never then number two will be the power mode the low power mode make sure that is also disabled so that the the um, ipad is not trying to um, use less power so the third one would be the wi-fi make sure that your ipad is not connected to any network if it is make sure you disable it and make sure you disable the auto connect so that it doesn't switch from the camera to your home wi-fi or hotspot you want to disconnect just like this one i'm going to forget this network and yeah as you can see other under the 
other network we have wally visuals 280 just as it's written on the screen here so we have that so once you see that you click on it and it's going to demand for a password the password is right on the lcd so i'm going to put that in which is uh, 4084477 then you click on join and this is where the magic happens as you can see there's a blue tick on the screen that means the ipad is connected to the camera so the next thing we want to do is um, launch or go back to the canon camera connect app and wait for a few seconds for the app to detect the camera as you can see the name of the camera will pop up right here if it's any other camera maybe usr 6d and all of that is going to pop right here so you click on that and wait for it to connect so we go to the uh, the camera as you can see it's a connect to this smartphone so make sure you click on ok as you can see it says connection established and as you can see on the ipad it says connection to the camera successful then we click on ok so moving on now this ipad is connected to the camera so let me take a new picture so i'm going to take a picture of the other cameras on my table and let's see what happens as you can see just it takes about two to three seconds depending on how close um, the range is so i always put my ipad close to my camera when i'm shooting or when i'm trying to preview the picture so that the pictures can quickly drop on the ipad and another thing is um, let me take a few more pictures let me just take random pictures like Let me take this big modifier. Let me take pictures on my phone. And yeah, so now let's take a look. As you can see, the pictures are dropping. So this is how we swipe, swipe, and you see, very, very easy to use. And let me explain this also. So when you want the pictures to drop very fast, you go out of this view and go press this um, arrow button and have it in this view. This way, the pictures are able to drop faster than when you have it in this full mode. So you can wait for the pictures to drop first in, from here, then you can now open this and preview them in full mode. Let me walk you through some of the buttons on the screen. As you can see, here we have the info button. So this is going to show you the file name, the shutter speed, aperture, the ISO, the date, time, and all of that. Then the second button is rating. So this is where my client gets to pick. There are some pictures they just see and they like instantly. So for us to know those pictures or I uh, mark those pictures, I just give it some rating. So I start with um, the first star, like to favorite. And anytime you favorite a picture, it's going to create um, like a, a list or a folder. So you're going to sort by rating. So when you click on that, you see the one star is now differentiated from every other picture. So now let's go back to another picture. So the third button here is import, which helps you to download the picture on the device. So it's going to ask you, Camera Connect would like to access your photo. So allow access it says jpeg format save size reduce 
um, raw image save format jpeg format all of that so just click on ok as you can see so if you go to your um, gallery you'll see this photo right there then the next thing is um, if you want to print we're not doing that and also you can delete from this app and one of the interesting thing about this app which i really like is um the remote live shooting let's say um i'm a wildlife photographer and i can just place my camera on a tripod and stay at a distance from the camera or just stay away from the camera and still able to control my camera from a distance and on the screen you can see the shutter button is there uh, you can also adjust your aperture you know if it's too dark you see i'm doing all of that from the ipad not my camera i can also adjust my iso and also my shutter speed all of that i can do them with this app and when i think it's good i can easily focus by tapping on the screen or tapping on the area i want to focus on then click on the shutter button and boom it's going to take the picture you see that so let's go back and see what we just took boom i took that picture just by using my ipad so you can use this in a creative way there are times where um i can have my camera connected to like um a boom stand and have it to take pictures from top view like an array shot and i can just because i'm not able to see my lcd i can just switch to the live um, shooting mode on the ipad and take the picture from my ipad and yeah that's pretty much it um i think every other thing there is very easy to understand you can just go around the app and get familiar and if there's anything that's confusing to you you can also let me know in the comment section and i hope now you are able to tether using uh, your ipad your iphone with your camera and that's it guys for today's video i hope you're able to tether now from your camera to your ipad or your phone and if there are other uh, more convenient method that you are familiar with i'm also willing to hear from you please make sure you drop them in the comment section and also if it's your first time joining us or coming to this page make sure you subscribe share this video and if you are a returning subscriber i appreciate you i appreciate your support i'll see you in the next video stay woke or stay broke peace out